So, uh, welcome back to another fan fiction idea, and today I'm going to be doing a fun one, one that I'm going to be revisiting, and that is uh, the Avatar Batman AU. Um, so, this story I kind of did before a little while back, but I thought it'd be always fun to revisit stories, and today I'm going to be review revisiting this one. So, if you guys don't know what this story was about, this story is basically like an alternate take, like an Elseworld story, in a way, where it does set in book two during the Bossing Se story arc, but goes in a different direction. In here, Zuko has been uh, gallivanting around the Blue Spirit in order to like uh, get more information about the uh, world around him, as well as more le learn about stuff. But the Dai Li are starting to get close, are starting to figure out, uh, yeah. I'm he is getting I'm getting too close like I'm getting too close to them and the Dai Li now know about the blue spirit so I can't like if they figure out that the blue spirit is connected to me then me uh, me and Ira uh, me and my uncle are going to be so fucked so basically what he do uh, what uh, Zuko does is look like yeah I kind of need a new identity I need one that will scare off the Dai Li or anyone else who comes near us because he's also dealing with like, lower ring crime lords who are, like, trying to move in, like, for protection money. But Zuko and Iroh are like, yeah, we could kick your ass, but if we do, we could, you know, potentially get our, you know, our identities found out. So, yeah, so they're dealing with that, too. So Zuko's trying to, like, uh, rack his mind over what could I become? Uh, and then a bat comes flying into the, is like stuck in the uh, tea shop in the upper, upper levels where they live, and it's flooding around, and he's like, oh, got it. So Zuko in this universe is Batman, and he's, uh, so he takes on that identity of Batman, Iroh becomes like his Alfred, and he's initially going around scaring like the uh, crime lords who are attacking the tea shop or any other lower rings and scaring the Dai Li. He's more, he, he doesn't use his fire bending. He's more, like, in the shadows. But here's the thing. Zuko, while he is, like, stealthy, at the same time, he's like, I'm not used to, like, fighting in the shadows all the time and being, like, you know, using all of these different, like, skills and whatnot to fight these guys. I can't, you know, I'm not used to that. I'm more, like, using used to the direct approach. But Zuko, like, slowly learns how to use that. And also, like, he starts, like, uh... Because initially, he has to use, like, go hand-to-hand, -hand because if he uses the, uh, the broadswords, he's like, oh, crap, they're going to figure out that I might be the blue spirit. So at first, he's, like, hand-to-hand, -hand, and he's not using, like, his fire bending. So he has to, like, learn how to use gadgets. So initially, he's, like, just using random tools he finds or, you know, buys stuff off the black market and starts learning how to use them or create some of his own, like, little batarangs or, like, a grappling hook or something. Makes his own little utility belt, and he's slowly, like, he's like Batman on a budget. He's basically what he is, is, like, budget Batman. Um, and that's the big thing, is that he's budget Batman, and he's really, tr and... The, light, the myth of Batman is starting to grow in the lower rings of Ba Sing Se. And, um, word is getting out. So, you're probably wondering, well, who does he fight in here? Like, I know obviously the Dai Li, but who else does he encounter? Does he encounter, like, versions of the other Batman rogues? He does. Um, so, the bit, so a couple, uh, in here are one, I want to talk about, like, a major one, and that's Clayface. So Clayface was one of the first ones I thought of for this AU, and in here, Clayface is an earthbender who's bending clay around him to make him look like a monster. So he's kind of, people think he's a spirit um, that's attacking and robbing banks and whatnot, but really, it's just an earthbender who's just kind of manipulate earthbending around him to make him look like a monster. Um, so it's not like a dark spirit or a guy who got turned into clay. It's just a, a guy who's earthbending the clay around him to look like an earth, you know, to look like a monster. So there's Clayface. Um, another one is Manbat. So Manbat's a little different. Manbat in here, um, Manbat in this universe is a guy who was like inspired by Batman. He's like, oh, I want to instill fear like you, and you know, I want to be like the Batman and scare my enemies. So he more or less offers his soul up to a dark spirit who's like a dark bat spirit, and it like makes it, it he makes him into like a man a man like bat creature. So yeah, and he, so yeah, that one's more spirit. The man bat is more spiritual. Killer Croc, he was easy. He's just a guy who with a bad skin condition living in the sewers. 
Um, uh, um, Penguin in this universe is a guy who lives in like the higher class. He's a mem he was a member of the Northern Water Tribe who came down to Ba Sing Se to open up like gambling rings and, cr and be like a crime lord where he couldn't really expand in the north. He could be like, hey, I could go to the Earth Kingdom and really uh, uh, spice it up. So he's up in the upper rings with all the other like ech upper echelons and created his own um, fucking Christ. I'm sorry if the mic's picking that up. That's someone doing like yard work right outside my room. Um, but anyway, so in this, uh, so like I said, he's he's not a waterbender, but he is like a, from the water tribe, and he did create the Iceberg Lounge, and he does run in uh, foul with that uh, with Zuko Batman, who's like, I don't want to be like Zuko the whole time. By the way, is like I don't want to be like a hero to these people. I'm like I'm just doing this for myself. Why am I going out of my way to help people who my people like try to conquer? So he's slowly being like you know slowly being a hero. Sorry about that. Anyway, so in this, um, basically, yeah, Zuko is slowly, like, at first he was just like, I was just doing this for my uncle and me, but he's more encountering, like, other people who are, like, uh, like, in terror and in fear of crime and whatnot. So Zuko, so Zuko, as Batman, is more like, you know, becoming like a myth and like a, this mythic hero, or is it a creature who's like a good spirit? And, uh, of course, that's going to draw some attention to people. Uh, that's going to draw some attention from certain people. Um, preferably the Dai Li and, you know, Long Fang, who's like, I don't know what this is, but I don't want it in my city. You know, it's disrupting the order of my city. Um, so I want it gone. And he more or less hires uh, several other characters that are like this version of it. Like Firefly is one of the people he hires. And this version of Firefly is a firebender who is, like, just a serial arsonist. He loves killing people. Like, he was a soldier in the Fire Nation who went really far. Like, he got kicked out of the army, went too far, because he, like, burned... Like, he, he was found burning Earth Kingdom children right in front of their families, and they're like, oh, gee... <laughs> like, his commanding officer was like, oh, Jesus! <laughs> you, you know when the Fire Nation army gets rid of you, you have you know, you have problems. So he's, like, he burns himself and he burns other soldiers. Like, he just loves burning things and, um, he wears, like, a suit, uh, to, like, conceal himself. Um, and he also uses firebending to fly. Um, so that's that version of Firefly. Um, you also have, like, a version of, uh, uh, who else did I have, like, as a version of someone in here? Um, this version of Bane... Oh, yeah, they're a version of Bane. So this version of Bane is a um, non-bender who came from the Earth Kingdom and was... Who um, wasn't really experimented on. What he did was he found... Like, he was this weakling little guy who found, like, these... Uh, this uh, mythic pond... Who ha that had this uh, f these weird uh, f plants that he crushed up and made into like a drug for himself. So when he like inhaled it and then eventually like learned to just inject it into his body, it made him stronger. So uh, so there's that version of Bane. Deathstroke in here is a assassin for the fire from the Fire Nation who did like um, like seedy um, like kill everyone missions for. Uh, uh, for o for Fire Lord o Ozai and was trained by Master P and Dao, but he's like a rogue student. Um, so there's Deathstroke. Uh, and you're probably wondering, and they got the Joker. Why is that? Like, where's Joker in here? Because Joker's Azula in this continuity. Um, Joker. So Azula becomes the Joker when uh, she encounters Batman. Because in here. They encounter each other, or, like, Azula encounters, because she's curious about this Batman as well, and she encounters Zuko, and, like, she instantly knows it's Zuko, like, right off the bat. Like, she sees Batman, and is like, oh, hi, Zuzu. So the two get into a fight, and uh, they get into a fight at, like, a chemical plant, at, like, a, a chemical plant in, um, uh, Ba Sing Se, 
And Zuko, like, he gets into a fight with her and just grabs her and throws her into this vat, and you can probably guess what happens next. So Azula is this version of the Joker, and you have Ty Lee as Harley Quinn. Um, for May, May it's a little different, because when she realizes that her friends went completely fucking crazy, she's like, I don't want to do that. So May takes on the identity of the Huntress. She becomes Huntre this version of Huntress, um, and becomes, like, a ally to him, even though she's kind of just on her own. She doesn't, know, like, she didn't, she wasn't there when Azula pointed out that, oh, it's Zuko, um, to either May or Ty Lee. It was a one-on-one -on -one thing, and now Azula is so fucking out of her mind as the Joker. Um, she's, like, she can't, like, she doesn't tell anyone. Like, it's like, oh, it's my, pro it's our little secret, Zuzu. Um, so a uh, May is Huntress. You also have Jin. Um, the girl he met in Tales of Bossing, Zuko met in Tales of Bossing Say, where in this continuity, May, uh, Jin is from a, actually a long line of thieves. Can you guess who she is? Oh, yeah, definitely. She's this version of Catwoman. Um, she's also inspired by, um, uh, by Batman standing up to these, you know, these big city pricks that are crushing the little man, and more or less she's more like a Robin Hood, where she's stealing from the rich and keeping a small percentage for herself while giving back to the, to the community. Um, there's also um, Team A- now let's talk about Team Avatar. So Team Avatar is also, you know, wondering, like, who is this Batman? Like, who is this Batman? And Zuko, when he finds out the Avatar is here, he's like, uh, fuck, what do I do? I'm kind of obsessed being this Batman character, who, by the way, this version of Zuko is not, like, the world's greatest detective. He's not, he's not exactly, like, the, um, world's greatest detective. He's, he's, like, trying to figure it out. Like, when he's investigating, like, a crime scene or something, he's more like, uh, Ira, uh Uncle Iroh, what do I do here? Oh, okay, yes, yes. Uh, okay, now I got it. And he does work with the police, like, in secret. Like, at first, he's, like, treated as a, you know, a criminal, like in like in Batman Year One. But here he does eventually get the help of the police, who are, like, also against the the Capitol Police, who are, like, also anti Dai Li. So when the commissioner of the um, royal police is like, yeah, fuck the Dai Li, ba I'll, I'll trust Batman over Long... this Batman guy over Long Fang. So... Um, the other characters of Team Avatar think he's pretty cool, but they don't know what he is. Like, is he a spirit? Is he a dude? They don't know. They want to trust him, but they, uh, like, they keep at arm's length, and when Aang meets Batman, he's like, hey, you're pretty cool. You know, you're a pretty cool guy, and, you know, we love what you do out there, and if you need us, we'll, we'll, we'll be out there for you. Um, Sokka is also inspired after seeing some thugs, like, uh, pick on some kids, and he takes on the identity of, of this version of Nightwing. Um... Yeah, so Nightwing, and then you have Katara, who takes on uh, Batgirl, the Batgirl persona for a little bit. Aang takes on, like, a, the identity of, um, he becomes, like, since it's, like, it, he wants to honor the monks, if he's gonna wear a mask, he wants to honor the monks of the old, and, like, he remembers a, like, Monk Dumas. So, in a weird way, yes, Aang is this version of Azriel, um, honoring, um, the monk, a airbender monk who was a little more like in your face. He wasn't like violent, but more like he was a uh, he was some he was like a monk who believed in avenging people and protecting people, no, uh, you know, protecting people. And that was like I said Monk Dumas. Um so yeah, he takes on the name Azriel. Uh, so he beco uh, so Ang becomes Azriel. Not crazy. Like not crazy. Um Toph Oh yeah, yeah, Toph became a uh, spoiler for a little she took she took on the name Spoiler. Um, uh, and as for... There was also the little kid, I think his name was Lee from Zuko Alone, where he became Robin. He actually was in Ba Sing Se with his, mo uh, um, with his mom, because they, they, uh, uh, their father went out to the... went out to look for their older... for the eldest of the son... Uh, uh, the eldest son in the, during the war. They went to Ba Sing Se for, you know, safe keeping keeping and 
Lee encountered Batman, uh, Z Zuko Batman, and was like, hey, you're that guy, and if you, uh, you know, I want to help you, so let me be part of your team, or I'm going to tell everybody, he's like, fine, you know, where, you know, put this on and take on, you know, what do we call you? I don't know. Fucking Robin. I don't know. Whatever. Um, so, yeah. You also have, um, who else? Like, uh, Riddler. Riddler in this continuity is like a, um, Riddler in this continuity is like a, um, serial killer who's kind of like, it's kind of like Seven with him, where he was like, he was released by Long Fang to like, uh, throw off Batman, or like, like maybe figure out like who Batman is, and I'll just let you go so you can commit crimes while also trying to figure out who Batman is. Um, then there's also the Court of Owls, who in this continuity, um, the Court of Owls are a cult. They're not a society, they're a cult who have been living in the shadows worshipping Wong Shi Tong, the uh, owl spirit. So, uh, so yeah. And they're also, like, their grand plan is to, uh, like, manipulate all of Ba Sing Se and then eventually manipulate all of the Four Nations. Um, so there is, um, there's that version of the Court of Owls. And uh, I'm trying to think of, like, what other versions of the Batman... Oh, yeah, Ra's al Ghul's in here, and he, but he's just Ra's al Ghul. He's just an immortal who was a student of... He was, he was a, he was like a monk in practicing, but he saw the massacre of the airbenders. He was like friends with the monks and even knew Aang because he was a little older. Um, and when he escaped, he realized, hey, the world's fucked if, um, if we allow like just war and famine and all that just to continue to fester. And he also stumbled upon the, the Lazarus pit, which is more spiritual in here. So there you go. Uh, so there you go, guys. That is, I know this was, was a little longer for a video, but I thought it'd be kind of fun just talking about this. So you guys tell me in the comments below, what did you guys think of this, bat, of this little more updated story for Batman Avatar The Last Airbender AU? Just comment below, let me know, and once again, I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in Multiverse.